Yay! Any fish? It is the 8th of March, 2018. And, uh, yeah, we're in the middle of, of Blizzard Quinn. And it is actually pretty, pretty nasty. But I still got internet, so I came in to poke around a little bit. And the first thing I see I go to Drudge is this image right here. Mueller fishing in Sicheles or whatever. And this is talking about how uh, Eric Prince from Blackwater met with some Russians. And they're still just poking around the whole Russian thing. But that's what it's all about is Russians. And they put this image on here. And when I saw this, I, I recognized it right away. These fish right here are, are pretty unique. And they're known as sheep's head fish. And they're common in the New York area. And there's even a whole area of New York in Brooklyn called Sheep's Head Bay. Okay? And that's the same exact fish portrayed in the I Pet Goat, too. That's what these are. These are Sheep's Head Fish. All jumping in the boat. The boat is full. So, this is just crazy. I leave this alone, and I go to my random Bible verse generator, okay? Let me just get to it here, right here. Pull up my random Bible verse generator to get a little read in, and it comes up with Joshua 3.11, and then 13 through 17, and it skips over 12, which is just weird to me but there it is and immediately it just it just came to me it's like joshua yeshua jesus 311 3 times 11 33 but it's 311 as in march 11 and then 13 through 17 and this is how i interpret this the 13 through 17 are the entirety of history essentially and by that I mean from the rebellion, from when Satan rebelled, okay? And this goes back before the garden, okay? So from the garden at minimum until now. And the 17 I relate to now because of the end of the church age, the, the fullness of the net, the 17, which we get through this code here, which I don't know the scientific name of it, but it's very, very simple and very perfect in God's way. If you simply do a 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus all the way down 17 times, you come out with a perfect 153. Okay? That's where I get the 153 is from the 17. And so we have Jesus 311, 33 from the rebellion to the end of the church age and when you read the actual scripture here this is talking about the literal crossing the jordan that's what these verses are and as 17 is the completion the the, the all the fish in the net the verse 17 here is virtually the same until all the people were passed clean over jordan you see where i'm coming from and this is just what i saw just right off the bat and i thought wow that's crazy this is more or less telling us that we're at the end we are there and you know little old many fish does not know exactly what that means i just see the little pieces and, and i share them with you you know and this this actually caused me to go a few places you know like concerning moses you know moses died what was it uh Adar 7. So this would put this in the springtime, right? Because they crossed over Jordan when the banks were flowing over, which is in the spring, time of the harvest, right? Moses died on Adar 7, which was February 22nd. I actually had that here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it here. I got it somewhere. Right here. Adar 7, February 22nd till the 11th is 17 days 
See what I'm saying? So I just see this stuff and I want to share it with you. That's all. We can even go to John 21 for the 153 fish, which is 2111. And I see it as 311. That's just, that's just what I see. It's just how it works. And of course, I'm not claiming any particular day for any particular event, but this is quite strange. You understand what I mean? There's so many avenues. This particular Bible verse generator never gives me Old Testament stuff like this. It's 9 out of 10 times it's New Testament stuff. So for this verse to come up is just really strange to me. And for all of that to just come on my spirit the way it did is telling to me. And the fact that Drudge is putting up. I mean, come on people. Of all things, look at them boiling in the water there, exactly, exactly as we see in I Pet Goat. It's just the way it is. It's just, as soon as I saw that image, I thought of this. And all the fish jumping in the boat of the Antichrist. The sheep's head fish, okay, which is a burb of New York City sheep's head okay i just see it and i share it with you but there's something to this so you know as usual it's major heads up i mean always be looking up always be prayed up and always be armored up and if you don't know christ you got to seek him now time is so short you know keep saying it and saying it and saying it because it's true jesus is coming and the end of days are here. Everything's coming into a culmination now. Another thing I'd like to go into over this concerning the ark, and I think I'll do a separate video on that, concerning the ark and Mr. Ron Wyatt. I'll probably get to that later if I can. A lot of snow going on. Hopefully we keep our power and all that, but for this for this generator to pull this up folks i just can't stress that enough it is amazing and to have the sheep's head bay fish on the front cover is pretty wild folks that's pretty wild you got to admit anyway there you have it what day is it anyway 3 8 okay well there you go peace and grace to y'all Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God 